and three, two, one. We're on the air. And welcome to the very first online class for desktop publishing this semester. Uh, and hopefully uh, you will find this to be uh, just as good as an experience as it normally would be. Uh, this is going to be the format in which I will be delivering uh, my um, uh, information to you uh, during the week. And hopefully we will get through this. And I do appreciate your, um, your indulgence. Um, so, hold on a second, and let me switch over to... Uh, there we go. Okay, so this is, uh, this is our virtual class today. Um, and uh, the purpose of this week is really just to get you started. I'm not expecting a lot, uh, but there will be expectations. Okay, so the, I want to start out by making some general declarations, as I call them. And really what I'm saying here... Uh, is that uh, this is going to be my approach to the online class, and uh, this will give you an idea of what to expect from me and how I'm going to deliver information and how we're going to make the class work. Now, first of all, uh, there will be weekly content. You know, there has to be. We have to keep going. We have to keep uh, alert. And so you'll have certain things that are done every week. Uh, there'll be weekly expectations, uh, some kind of an assignment, a quiz possibly, and weekly material presented. All assignments will be graded. Everything that you submit will be graded in some way, uh, just like it always was, but in this particular case, you'll be able to track it a lot more easily. Uh, the major assignments will still exist, but will be modified to match the new format. Uh, fortunately, in this case, I think that's going to be fun. In fact, it may even be an improvement. You're really going to enjoy this when we get to it. Okay, the progress on major assignments will be monitored. Very much like we were doing labs during the course, uh, I will be expecting you to, um, to keep up and, and let me know where you're at with these assignments and possibly show me examples. Uh, all grades will be posted on Blackboard. Uh, from now on, uh, that's pretty much where you're going to get all your information. Uh, you can send me an email if you want to. You can contact me in, in any way. Uh, but if I respond to you based on information, it will be through Blackboard, based on an assignment rather. Uh, class times are open. Now, what that basically means is that uh, for the most part, not entirely, but for the most part, we're going to be asynchronous, uh, meaning that uh, you don't necessarily have to, uh, to be in your seat at a particular time uh, to view this information. Uh, it will be posted uh, on, a, on a regular basis. You'll be able to pick it up and uh, look it over, and it doesn't really matter when you do that with certain exceptions. Uh, now, all the, the avail uh, material is available all the time. You know, as soon as it's posted, you can access it again and again. You can review it, uh, whatever it is you need to do. Uh, some classes may meet virtually at specific times for discussion. Now, that's going to be particularly important in this class because that's how we're going to do our uh, PowerPoint presentations. And so there will be at least some classes in which we, uh, we all get together and we do the classroom thing, but we do it virtually. And so you'll be able to, uh, to get your little laptop computer out and your, your little uh, laptop window, and you'll see me waving hello, and you'll wave hello back, that sort of thing. Uh, discussion boards are going to be available. Now, the primary reason uh, for the discussion boards is to make sure that you can um, ask questions at any time and get an answer. And so I will be checking the boards regularly. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please post it to the board. I'm, I'm serious about that. I will be checking that uh, several times a day. Uh, you will not, and I repeat, not uh, be asked to post two little chat things uh, to prove that you're still there. Uh, that is stupid. Uh, strike that. I'm not going to use that. Well, I really shouldn't say that, but let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, in... Um, in going from a classroom environment to an online environment, this, this goes back a long time when they started doing online classes, they wanted to say, well, how do you know the students are there? Well, we'll make them talk. Well, in most classroom settings, the vast majority of the students don't talk. They don't ask questions. They don't raise their hands. They don't offer information. Uh, they, they simply listen. Now, that's not necessarily, I'm not making a value judgment there. It's just a fact. And so, therefore, suddenly you're put in an online class and you're expected to post even if you've got nothing to say. And so that basically means you're generating gibberish. And you're being graded based on how much gibberish you generate. And I have to grade the gibberish, and I'm not going to do that. And so basically, uh, the way you will prove attendance 
is that you will respond to the quizzes and assignments uh, and ask questions. Uh, you won't be graded for asking questions. I, I never shouldn't put that one in there. Uh, but basically, uh, you'll be meeting the same actual requirements that you always had to. You are required to obtain and use the software resources and technology. Now, these have been made available to you. So you should be able to, to find this uh, wherever you need it. Uh, the Adobe uh, Suite is available to you. Uh, there was an announcement to that effect earlier. Uh, there is a, a procedure to follow. You'll be using your own uh, username and login uh, that you would normally use. Uh, and that's all covered in, the, uh, in, in that announcement. And so this is free of charge. You don't have to pay for this. It's, uh, it's covered. You're using the school's license. Adobe's been very generous in this regard. Uh, please take advantage of that. Okay, now the 60-foot uh, the gorilla in the room, is whatever you want to call it, is the presentations. How are we going to do that? Well, this is going to be great. Uh, first of all, why not? Isn't this wonderful? We have this wonderful opportunity to play with technology. Uh, and we're going to do them online. Essentially, we're going to do your PowerPoint presentation uh, in an online fashion, any virtual classroom setting. Uh, there's all kinds of fun ways we can do this, and apparently they're a lot more prevalent than I originally thought. Uh, you are literally watching a PowerPoint presentation delivered online now, in case you haven't figured it out. And the nice thing about that is I can shift back and forth to showing you my face and saying, hey, we're doing discussions. You know, showing you stuff, you know, picking up things, and you know, you could you could do that part. I can also just show you the screen itself at times, or I can give you this uh, this uh, alternate view. And this is free software as well. This is called uh, uh, OBS Studio, and you will be expected to consider using this. Uh, there are also other uh, the uh, the Blackboard system itself contains something that allows you to do this, and so. You, that's also a possibility as well. Uh, and the, uh, as I said, the software is free. And you've got the rest of the semester to figure this out and get used to it, which is actually saying a lot. So we will actually have a set time for presentations in which we will all be watching your presentations. And the OBS Studio allows you to capture screen in real time and include a webcam window or some such thing. Uh, you can deliver your presentation. You can already have it pre-made and deliver it, or you could even possibly deliver it using the uh, the Blackboard system uh, as, a, as an impromptu thing, which may be the better way of doing it. And you can you can speak to us with your computer's microphone, or I've got a, a microphone that I put in place, which is also possible. Uh, and so basically, the OBS Studio uh, is available. And so I'm asking you to consider this. It's basically uh, you find it at obsproject.com, you know, download it, try it out, you know, customize it, and, and look into it. And what else you got to do? You're, you're, you're trapped at home now, right? Okay, the web page. That's going to be uh, just exactly as easy or difficult as it was before. Uh, basically, yeah, the project, uh, this, this last project is easy. It was, it was always supposed to be, uh, but in this particular case, the expectations are going to be a little bit higher. You will learn basic HTML. I'm not asking you to reinvent the wheel. We're still going to use the same format. It's text only. You can do it on your laptop. You can be half asleep when you're doing it on your laptop, uh, as long as you understand the very basics, which we'll go over. You'll, you'll be provided with a sample code to modify, so you don't necessarily have to do the code from scratch. This isn't a class in HTML specifically. And you will create a beautiful website using Adobe Dreamweaver, which you have available to you for free. And try to make it count. Now, when I say that, what I mean is don't just do a boring, don't just, just, don't just fill the content with gibberish. Try to make it matter. Try to make it about something. You know, it can be the same topic as your presentation. It can be the same topic as your newsletter was. Uh, but take it seriously. Try to make it interesting. Make me want to read it. And uh, obviously, I want to thank all of you for coming. And at this stage, and if you've, if you've been in one of my other classes, uh, forgive me, this, this, uh, you can skip this part if you really want to. But I, I feel it necessary to thank you all by name for taking the trouble to uh, hang in there with us. I'm going to thank Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Francie. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Alex. 
Thank you, Mei Lin. Thank you, Xenia. Thank you, Rachel. And thank you, Anne. And uh, your, uh, your, your troopers. You know, the fact that you're hanging on there with us at all is great. And so, uh, again, you know, this class doesn't have to be burdensome, but I think we can pull this off. And this will be the first week of material. Now, what I'm asking you to do also, there is an assignment uh, that you're expected to do in the assignments folder. I want you to outline for me how you're going to approach the rest of the semester. Uh, it's all in there. Uh, submit it by Wednesday, please. And I will uh, see all of you later.